Mobility scooters like this are an invaluable aid for all sorts of people. Disabled, infirm and elderly, and lots of others besides. And they offer an enjoyable and practical way of getting around. However, they can be a danger and a hazard. So, like the drivers of all other forms of transport, mobility scooter users are obliged to follow the highway code. But more of that later. Before we consider the many advantages of owning a scooter, we need to underline the serious harm that can be caused if they're not used properly. Sadly, there have been many examples of people being seriously injured, or worse, as a result of being involved in an accident with one. Authorities are recognizing the need to establish nationwide training schemes but all too often, scooter users lack the necessary driving skills or road safety experience at the moment. It's in the interests of everyone, scooter users and the public in general, for you to be properly prepared before you venture onto the streets or pavements. Whether you're a long-term mobility scooter user, a relative novice, or a complete beginner. You need to be familiar with the way your scooter works so that you can control it safely on both pavements and roads. The retailer where you buy your scooter should demonstrate the basics. Turning, reversing, however, all mobility scooter users are strongly advised to attend safety awareness events. Like this. Okay. No. Slow down, slow, slow. That's it, up you go. Keep going, keep going. On the other side, and follow the cones around. Here you'll be taught how to manoeuvre your machine properly and to negotiate the hazards you're likely to meet every day. And just come straight over the top of that one just up here. Oh, well played. And we'll drive in. And we're almost there, you can straighten up now. Just be aware of the lady behind you. That's it. And I want you to parallel park into there. I'll tell you where to turn. Keep going back. There are two distinct types of mobility scooter, class two and class three, the larger one. Please David, can you explain the differences to us? The class two is the one I'm sat on at the moment, uh, is mainly for small to medium sized people, has a maximum speed of four miles an hour and is predominantly used to go on footways and footpaths. It can be used to cross the roads but ideally it's mainly used for footways. Right, and class Three. The Class 3 is the larger type of vehicle um, and has a maximum speed of 8 miles an hour uh, but the 8 miles is only for roads. Um, it does have a changeover switch to change it down to 4 miles for, on footways. As you can see it's a much larger vehicle and, and, and will take up a lot of room on footways. It's important for the, um, for the users to ensure that they only go at the speed appropriate to pedestrians that are, that are in that vicinity because at the end of the day, the pedestrians have right of way. And is any insurance required? There isn't insurance required by law, but our advice is that um, all mobility scooters, whether it's class two or class three, should have a minimum of third party insurance. Um, because at the end of the day, it's peace of mind for the individual that's got it, uh, in case of theft or fire, and also for any accidents that may occur. The class three also needs to be registered with DVLA and will receive a tax disc, although there's no payment for the tax disc, it will require a tax disc and, and to be registered. The next question is maintenance, because presumably when I buy my scooter before I take it home, I need to know exactly how to look after it for my safety and everybody else's. The, the thing with um, purchasing mobility scooters, ideally, 
if you buy it from a lo local retrieval dealer, you will get that service at the very beginning. They should provide you with some uh, training to start with on, on all the functions of the switches. In addition to that, you will get the aftercare service. If you buy it off the internet or um, on an 08 number or secondhand car boot sale, you won't get that service and, and you may not have a scooter that's actually measured to your actual frame. So a local dealer will provide all that for you. Do you wish to transport the scooter in the boot of a car? No. So, you've decided you want and need to buy a mobility scooter. How do you go about it? Firstly, come to a reputable retailer such as this. Here you will be given all the important advice and guidance you need so that you can choose exactly the right model for you. You'll also be given the opportunity to try the scooters out. Once you're happy you've chosen the right model, it'll be delivered directly to your home. And just like motor cars and bicycles, there's a range of accessories for your added security and comfort. So let's take a look at how you can get the very best out of your scooter, whilst ensuring that you're safe and secure at all times. The first thing you have to do is plan your journey. Even before you set out, consider the best route to take. It might not necessarily be the quickest or shortest. You need to consider a variety of factors, like obstacles and curves. Can you get on and off the pavement more easily by going one way rather than another? It might pay to avoid busy times, such as the rush hour, or even dustbin collection days when roads and paths are particularly busy. In short, make things as easy for yourself as possible. Think about where you're going and the best way to get there before you set off. When it comes to safety, there are some very important do's and don'ts. Do not overload your shopping. Do not carry passengers. And do not walk your dog. All these things can so easily lead to accidents. It's important to be prepared for bad weather with suitable waterproof clothing that does not obscure your vision or get entangled in your wheels. Also, it's important to use your lights. It may seem a lot to take in, but it's really just common sense, designed specifically for everyone's safety. And remember, a mobility scooter gives you independence plus freedom and enjoyment. I hope you found this useful. Happy scooting!